Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and if you guys are new here, welcome. Today I'm going to do another review and reaction of RuPaul's Drag Race All Star 6 Episode 9. So now we have literally five queens left. The queens are winding down and you know each and every episode I pick a comment from a last reaction and review and the comment that I chose today was Kylie and Ginger ate. This are the cases where I wish we had top two of the week. Like they were both so good. Yeah, I totally agree with you. This was, it, it was a tough call, but you know, ultimately Ginger win and it was well deserved. So I don't want to take anything away from Ginger. But you guys, you know, each and every week I pick a subscriber to recap with me this episode or whatever episode that I'm reviewing. And the subscriber that I chose for episode nine is right here. So I cannot wait to review with you, babe. So make sure you take out all your notes and we're gonna kiki, have a good time. And if you guys wanna join me in a recap, definitely hashtag recap down in the comment section below. Also shout outs to my new Patreon members, which I'm gonna list right here. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. And like I say, each and every video, it really allows me to deep dive onto my YouTube channel and create even more and better content for you guys, as well as exclusive only content that you can only see on Patreon. And obviously, you going to see the unedited uncut versions of my reactions and as well as the full video that I'm doing from Drag Race US and Drag Race Holland or wherever I'm reaction reacting and reviewing from without further ado let's get straight into this reaction and review you guys Now let's get down to the dirty business. Okay. <gasps> wow. Okay. Well, girl, the girls voted correctly. I need to pull the positive out of it and not dwell on the negative because we often get in our heads in this. I don't know. I'm going to go to my room and cry later. Absolutely, Miss Trinity. Good mindset, girl. Good mindset. Hello? I'm gay. This is the top five. Did you guys expect this to be the top five? That's right, Miss Eureka. Oh, look at Miss Eureka looking like a, looking like she put her outfit together for a purpose. Okay. Just figuring it out though, but I, I feel it. So long and thanks for all the fish. Love Pandora. I'm very sad to see Pandora go. So let's give her her praise. Yes, Miss Pandora, girl. We we love you, girl. We love you. Wait, Pam. For today's mini challenge, we're gonna play a game of all-star class superlatives. Okay. Who's the prettiest queen? Yeah, Kylie. Let's and Kylie all get points. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, Miss Raja. <laughs> Who's the most likely to have a sugar daddy? Kylie. I've been a sugar daddy. Uh huh. I've also been a sugar mama. Oh. Been a sugar mom. Okay. oh. She's a oh. boyfriend stealing beautiful sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the gassiest queen? Eureka. Uh, Eureka. Oh. Eureka Ginger. Gassiest queen. Uh, so the Trinity. Win. Eureka. <laughs> The You're shadiest queen is Eureka. Yeah. <laughs> the most likely to go home next. Oh, Eureka. So oh, the shadiest question. <laughs> she say herself, two no. Two Trinities and two Eurekas. Eureka does not get a point. Right, because she got it all the way wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she got it all. With the most points are Ginger Minch. Yeah. And Kylie Sonique Love. I know you artists out there are gonna have a field day with the artist three. <laughs> Told you it was coming up. Girl, it's Eureka's highlight, bitch. You catch that? Y'all catch the height? If you get hurt by a dry race board, mama, you need to look in the mirror and figure something out. The thing about it is, Amen to like, that, Eureka. Any one of these girls would love to see you there you go. She being messy again, girl. She being real but messy. You think shit about people all the time. Oh, I think my mailman fine. I'm not gonna run outside and tell him. This conversation. Well, girl, speak for yourself, Miss Trinity. Worry about the okay. <laughs> 
Trinity, you can't be too emotional, girl. You can't. Get that out of your head. I, I thought the group would say you just because I felt like the Snatch Game was such a... <laughs> so I was like trying to... Oh. <laughs> She's not making it better, girl. Just keep it simple, girl. I just picked somebody. I could have lived without Moody and most likely to go home next. Shame. She knew what she was doing, girl. I want to be a villain. You know... You're basically, girl, like, what they voted you for. I'm gonna... <laughs> That's gonna be good, because you know everyone loves a villain. No shade. Think of the Disney movies. <laughs> Maleficent, no, Cruella, etc. I don't have time to be nervous. I turned it in my Snatch game. But Perfect answer, Miss Kylie. From her drag mother, from her drag mother. Oh my god. Wisdom. I think you're off to a good start. Wow. Can't wait to see what you do out there. Love that. So Love it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Love all that, Miss Kylie. Queen who? See me. See me. See me. Queen see Queen see Oh, see me. Okay. Every time you say that, I think see me. Yeah. <laughs> Is that wrong of me? Uh, it's just maybe your mind. <laughs> <laughs> My mind too, girl. So I feel you, Miss Rue. Mexican test. I, now I can't stop saying it. Because okay. it's, it's just... Uh, oh. Your name... But it's not my favorite word, girl. So let Miss Raja do what she do, girl. Girl. Just think about it. Raja, don't get discouraged, girl. <laughs> Continue doing what you're doing, honey. Because Mexica tests it. It is like literally a costume factory. Up the girls are focused, oh, honey. It's like, I'm going to need a saw to get through this tension, girl. I'm here for it. This is, this is what the girls are supposed to be doing. Felicia the feline. This is a fun, <laughs> Felicia the feline. Instructor. Girl, she's going to go give you Pink Panther. Girl, what is it going on? I did. Girl, I don't know about this one, Miss Trinity. Girl, Eureka, you're me. <laughs> Legitly. If I don't win this challenge, I feel like the girls will vote me out next. Absolutely. Yes, she, they should. What are you overthinking? This whole assignment. Don't, over, girl, don't get in your head, girl. Don't be stressed, girl. Girl, I'm, ooh, I'm sending you positive vibes. I don't even know. Even though it already happened. I'm stressed because misbehaves whole ensemble is not done. <sighs> I'm gonna need some magic powers at this point. No. Well, yeah, you know, you did bad last week. And, you know, <laughs> Girl, get those emotions out of here, honey. Never won. I've always been the bridesmaid. Whether it was pageants, whether it was drag race. I mean, that's the right mentality, Girl, you want to win. Go for it, Miss Thing. It's time for people like me to be on top. I feel you, Miss Eureka. I think so, too. Oh, my God, Miss Kylie, Girl, I swear to God, get this ensemble together. Girl, I know how to rig up the gig. <clears throat> so you can put that one in the book. What are you doing being loud, sir? What are you doing being loud? You ready for the show? You ready for the show? I love you. Oh, come on, Miss Rue. She's giving you a little one, two, a little catwalk. Girl, she look like a stiff of, of a bag of bones, honey. Challenge star queens to create their own live action drag talk characters. Okay, I like this, Miss Trinity. Cute look. Okay, Man. love that. Look at that piece of tail. Love that. Love that. You know what? I was kind of nervous, but she did what the assignment needed to be done. So that's good. Okay, oh, you know what? Loving this look. Love it. Imagine this on a cartoon. So cute. I can read a bitch the house down boots. Yes, God, my mouth. Yes. Yes. I'm loving this. Yes, Miss Raja. And she looks so good. I'm loving the outfit. I'm loving everything. Oh, they try to play us with this edit because she is knocking it out. I am here for all of this. Your look, your story, everything. Love it, Raja. <laughs> Girl, where's this train that you were talking about? Okay. <laughs> Stare them down and then sit on their face. If okay. Dies, you all learned nothing. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, that sucks. She could have done so much better with her storyline. <laughs> Loving the fact she came as an evil villain, though. And she looked good. What a witch. Yes, Miss Kylie. She's coming out. She looks good. Dress on the playground. Just 
together Ooh. pants off of them. Boom. Girl, that's like the same line Miss Eureka did. It's okay. I mean, she looks great. I just, but the storyline sounded better when she was talking to Rue than on stage. I've made some decisions. Raja, winner. Raja O'Hara. Yeah! Congratulations. <laughs> yes! And her face told it all. Oh, I'm so happy for her. This week, if you're not the top all-star, you're in the bottom. Yeah. We're all <laughs> I mean, girl, basically. <laughs> which of the bottom queens to send home? Eureka. Girl, she should have never picked her name. Girl, see this is why you gotta play it safe, girl, when it comes to this game, honey. Miss Eureka knows. Like, I don't know any of us that hasn't worked hard. Yeah. Decide who is going to the top Girl, we know, we know who you gonna vote for, girl. There's a lot of people in the final four with you. She should be there, girl. I have worked my ass off. Yes, you have. Be here. Yes, you have. You all feel like I should go home. Oh. Oh, yeah, I don't like this. Oh, honey, stop it. I'm just so tired of being almost there. You know what I mean? I'm just being real. Like real tea. I know, girl. I can feel your pain. Girl, don't do that to me. Eureka. You know, I mean, I don't know who, I, who I'm going to vote for, really. I don't know. Let me check in my book. Oh, this could be a sign. You know, oh. if it saves me. Oh, girl, Miss Kylie, that was messy, with Miss Kylie. <laughs> like, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to make my decision. Like, what's the smartest decision? Like, girl, she seemed like she's going to try to play strategic, girl. So I'm thinking maybe, you know, why not take out the baddest bitch? What's the wow. Time? That I saved you both when you came. <laughs> Taking your lines a little bigger in a couple places on the stage. Oh, oh. I see you, girl. Oh, oh. <laughs> she's calling her out, girl. Definitely. Which she said it was all, those all fat. It's so close that it's like taking under a magnifying glass. Oh my God, what the freak are these girls gonna do? I have to tear my other competitors down to prove why I deserve to be here, and I told you that. Hmm. I won't do that. You know what I mean? Oh, she's just emotional, girl. You know, I'm. Mm. This is gonna be hard, y'all. Who would you guys choose? I mean, for me, out of all of the queens there, I would probably pick Eureka. It's would sad, but I would. Because I think it is time for a big girl to win, but that's what I would choose. Oh, oh okay, Miss Raja. She really doesn't want to throw anybody under the bus. That's a true queen right there. Ginger right now is That's not how you play this game, girl. It's time to present this week's Lip Sync Assassin. Oh, Cameron. Okay. This gonna be this is going to be an assassin, honey. Good job, Miss Cameron. You look stunning too. The time has come to lip sync for your Lego stage. Oh it's the Come on girl. Okay, Miss Cameron. Okay, Miss Cameron, I see you girl. They could have picked a better song, but I digress. Okay, I don't know. The girls are kind of on the same level, which is expected for this type of song, right? I would think that Raja needs more eye contact with the judges like Cameron's doing, but that's just nitpicking at this point, you know? It seems like if you notice, Cameron's more connecting with the judges. I don't know. I mean, they both did good. I enjoyed it. I think it was an okay song, and I would personally pick Cameron. I've made my decision. Cameron Michaels, boom clap, you're a winner, baby. Yeah. Girl, the girls in the side are like, girl, fuck. <laughs> we picked the girl that's leaving. <laughs> what if it's a tie again? <laughs> She's a messy queen, Miss Rue. That's everybody. <laughs> the queen they've chosen to get the chop is... Rika. Mm. Sad. It just, it sucks. It yeah. just sucks. Yeah. Because like, she knows this is the game. I have done incredible you know? in this competition. You did. You did great. You did amazing. I think you did great, Eureka.
Okay, we got our top four queens now. It's not over. <laughs> yes, what is going on? Oh, all right, Miss Eureka, putting a wig on. Your life and report to the main stage. What? What? No, Miss Lee. Okay, you guys, so that is the end of my review and reaction of All Star 6, Episode 9. Wow, 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 wow. Where do I begin? First of all, I loved this episode for many of reasons. One, because I loved the mini challenge. I loved the maxi challenge. Um, this was, it was quite interesting. Um, just going straight for it. I love the, f I, I love the maxi challenge because it showed how the queens needed to be an overall queen like from from creating your own character creating your own um looks creating your own vibe creating your message creating everything about it right from top to bottom so i love that thing about it and to be honest with you i think every queen really did good at this point we're nitpicking the top five so every little thing was like like you're looking under under my microscope i think so congratulations to all the queens but to me the top queen was for sure raja i think they edited the episode to make it seem like she wasn't gonna do good but ultimately she knocked it out of the ballpark raja you did amazing congratulations i'm glad you got out of your head and i'm glad that she presented what she presented because everything about that message from the look to um how it, the color schemes were to your ensemble to hair to makeup to everything was executed so perfection so congratulations shout outs to you because you truly deserve that that win today and i hope that this helped you out in the competition now to really boost um just your confidence level and um and now as far as the bottom queens which was a sh which was a supposedly a gag but to me i was like oh, okay it's top bottom four i didn't really care about it like girl it's like at this point there's so many there's little queens left so um it was a bottom four this episode um but to me i think the person that didn't really do the best was between eureka and kylie i mean i think those two were the bottom two queens for me um but um I think that Eureka should, could have done a lot more with her character, with her storyline, and the lines just wasn't as impactful as it was. I think, she, I don't know, I think it sounded better when she was talking to Rue, as well as Miss Kylie. Miss Kylie could have done better. You know what, they both kind of were similar in the critiques. You know what I'm saying? They could have done more with their character. They could, it, it sounded better when they were talking to Rue. So yeah, those would be my bottom two. As far as the queen that looked the best, Miss Raja looked the best, hands down. I mean, it is what it was. Um, I, all the girls, all the girls really did good this episode. So there's really no bad critiques. It was nitpicking, honestly. But um, so Cameron Michaels came out great. She's a lip sync assassin. We all know that literally she, a, a prime example, like your, like Cameron, Eureka is doing the same thing this season. So keep that in mind. Cameron Michaels glided through her season. She literally made it to the end for just having no wins, right? Until, but but lip syncing for her life. So, um, but ultimately the queen, um, Cameron wins. So ultimately the queens chose Miss Eureka to go home. So let me know what you guys think. I think, and personally, I think Eureka should have went home. I would have picked Eureka. And I do want to say, I think it's time for Big Girl to win one. I think Eureka did an amazing season. I think she elevated her drag, elevated her performance, elevated her looks. Everything was top notch. Uh, and honestly, Eureka's personality as well, you can tell, has grown throughout the season, seasons. But um, shout out to you, Eureka. Bravo for an amazing season. Bravo to you being the most fantastic queen you are and just because you know I, I don't want you to think that you are bridesmaid in a story you are your own star in your own story so just keep that in mind and that goes for everybody in life you know you're never a bridesmaid you guys you guys will always be a star in your own story so just keep that in mind and um and you will always have fans. You will always have support. You will always be a phenomenal queen. And you're always going to stay booked and busy. Let's be clear. So, um, but yes, you guys, we finally have our top four queens. And as well as the 
the the um the thing that's about to happen now a game within a game that's going to be very interesting i want to see how that is going to go on because we're finally getting to what's about to happen with the game within a game so this is going to be very exciting for episode 10 so whoever i pick for the recap which if you do want to recap with me on episode 10, definitely um, comment um, hashtag re recap in the comment section below. And if you're not subscribed to my Patreon, definitely do because you really do get full unedited reactions to the full episode. So you're watching the full episode as well as getting my full reaction that some stuff I, I, have, a, I have to cut out a lot of stuff. So, um, to make this YouTube clip, you know, shorter than what it is, but um, but yeah, it's fun, it's funny, and you're uh, you, and you also get like un um just unreleased new exclusive content that you see nowhere else on my Patreon. So give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know exactly when I upload, you guys. And like always, life is your vision. It is whatever you make it, as long as you make it freaking fabulous. Until the next one, you guys. Bye.